Okay, so this is for the one of the bigger unboxings we have. Um, this is for the actual case, server case. Okay, so this is for one of the bigger unboxings that we have here. This is for the actual uh, server case, the more referred to as server chassis. It's the Roswell Hot Swap 12 Bay. Uh, the model number is in the description here. And of course, like true fashion of all unboxings, it's a box in a box. So we'll go ahead and undo that guy there. And what's inside the box is another box. It's really well packaged here. And we already broke the styrofoam plate to send it back. Okay, I expect this to be kind of heavy. So what I'll do is I'll move this out of the way. Move that bigger box out of the way now. Alright. Whoa. Take a look at the back first. Without scratching the glass or as much as possible. Okay, it looks pretty standard. Um, it looks just like the back of any other computer case except for sideways. Um, just ITX motherboard mount goes there, some slots, a couple of fans, and power supply. So that should look very, very, very similar for everyone who's ever built a PC before. It's just that this one is rack mountable. Okay, looking at the front, as you can see that we've got this tool handles here, and then the actual mounting brackets, those who aren't familiar with server farms. And then we've got the key, and this will link down here. Oh, I'm not sure if I can do this. Okay, so this comes down once you unlock it. And then here are the drive phase, on or a power button, on button, some USB ports, and some LED indicators. So you need a little check. Comes down like right like that. And then if it needs to be hot swapped, there comes the bay. This is one of the cheaper cases I've ever seen or used. Uh, some of the other server grade stuff is much more high quality. I think you can tell this is what you pay for. You get what you pay for pretty much. Um, and with my cheaper, I mean not the actual box itself, this this piece here, right here, feels a little cheap. Mm. Uh, the drive bays definitely feel a little cheap. You know, they just feel like they're a little flimsy. Is all. Um, not that that's a, not that that's the end of the world though. It's those things can be cheap. So no big deal. Um, we're doing this one on the budget here. Okay. Um, these keys. Oh, I hope I don't lose them. <laughs> Just because uh, it makes it a pain in the ass. Because um, this this lock here serves dual purpose. You know, not only the lock it, it can both mess around with it, but also to open it. So, uh, I don't know if that'll stay closed, really. Uh, yeah, well, you could probably just leave the key inside here. 
It'll be fine. All right, so that's the unboxing for the Rosewell case. We had a. Uh, not sure how to get this guy open. Um, I'm sure we'll figure it out. And then we'll take a look inside soon. Okay, so the the lid comes off by unscrewing four of the tiny screws that you can imagine on the sides. Uh, here, there, there, and there. And go ahead and put these down. No, I missed one. Actually, I just did the wrong one here. It's easy to do. take a look inside now. Alright, cool. So it looks like it came with some extra parts. So we got some screws. Nice. We use more screws. More screws. Even more screws. And more screws of different lengths. <laughs> There's the speaker. <laughs> I guess we'll put it on. It's, it's kind of fun. Uh, and then a back mounting bracket looks like it's just an extra one. Uh, it looks like it's for some sort of cable storage. All right. And then here we have is the actual leads that go to the motherboard for the controls in the front of the case. And then we've got some SATA cables. So we are not short for SATA cables whatsoever. There's more SATA cables here. And another set of saber, saber cables. So, we'll take a look on the back side of this case. Uh, you can see here three fans for cooling the hard drives. Um, that's for powering them, and those are for uh, the actual. <clears throat> and these right here are the SATA ports. So uh, the hot swappable hard drives, let's take a look at these guys here. Oh, so we need to pull this out just a tad more. Put this all the way down. They look like this, they mount in there pretty easily. And then when we put them back in. Yeah, these are plastic. It's very lightweight. Looks okay. And then I'm sure what we can do is just a tiny bit. What we'll do is show you what it looks like on the inside. See if that's visible. Okay, and you can see the fan in the background there. All right, looks pretty good. So when those things slide back into here, like this, 
they will slide in and then lock into place. Nope, I had it upside down. Just slide back in and lock into place just like that. Let's do that one more time. Okay. That's fun. Anyway. Uh, that's it for the case now. Um, we'll go ahead and start putting stuff, some stuff into it. Um, I forgot to mention it does have some motherboard standoffs already in the case, which is nice. Um, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. It's pretty difficult. Anyway, go ahead and put that in here. Put those in here. So there's room for 12 bays on this. All right, and then the motherboard can support, I think, 16 drives. So um, even though there's only 12 here, we probably keep the caching drive inside. Um, we'll mount it on the side of the wall or something, um, keep it pretty close. Uh, and we have these more or less for the, the larger storage pieces for it, um, just in case. It's okay if this caching drive fails, uh, but not okay if these guys do. Uh, it looks like it's got some activity lights here on the top. Um, I'm gonna close this guy up here. I don't think we'll see anything really. I'm wondering that about that little bit. It's kind of tough to see anything in here. It does have a nice little um, microfiber dust cloth in here for when it pulls in the air. Um, other than that, it's okay. Um, this has to sit in a on something. It can't sit directly on the floor. Um, our server. Uh, rack is actually coming, um, but it's not here yet, so we'll have to prop it up on 2x4s or something like that uh, in the meantime. Now, it's got some foam pieces on the inside here. I don't know why that matters. It's a nice touch, but I mean, the amount of times you're going to move it like this is slim to none. It's, I, I guess it's a, it's a cool little feature. Maybe it's to save weight or something. Anyway, thanks for watching um, and stick around for the build.